Hi, my name is Rinda Hall, and I'm with Family Tree Counseling Associates, located in Carmel, Indiana, on the north side of Indianapolis. I come to you today to talk about life scripts. Um, life scripts are things that we tell ourselves and we fulfill. Um, things such as, I have to be treated this way in order to be happy, or things ought to be this way in order to be right, or things like, I'm not worthy of being loved. And with these scripts, they're actually a source of disappointment, depression, and disillusion that we experience in life. These scripts are created from our childhood experiences. These are the things that we've been taught about through our family of origin on how um, to, to live when we get out on our own. Often, without realizing it, we're manipulating others to try to get them to, to fulfill the scripts that we've created. When we superimpose our scripts onto other people, we distort who they are. We don't realize um, or even see them for who they are themselves, for real. Um, this leads us to disappointment and often separation from that person when they free themselves from our script. It's true that we recreate our deepest childhood wounds in our relationships. Our life scripts have set the scene. Without consciously knowing it, we employ other people to recreate the pain we suffered growing up. If you were abandoned, you're undoubtedly set the stage to be abandoned throughout your life. Your life script somehow tells you that you were flawed and you don't deserve to be loved, honored, or respected. So however faulty this thinking is, we recreate it in our lives until we reach the power source of the connection deep within our souls and pull that plug and destroy it and never reconnect it. We imprison others with our efforts to keep them under our control. That means that um, we don't allow them to be themselves. Uh, we don't allow them to be their, their true selves um, and so we never get to see that person. We're busy um, seeing and creating in our own mind who we want that person to be, to meet the needs of our script. Our ego finds a false sense of power or momentarily gratification when it feels it's gained power over another person. The challenge. The challenge is to rewrite our script and not impose it onto other people. By telling ourselves and truly believing that we're capable of being loved, nurtured, and respected and honored by another human being, but most importantly, yourself. We have to let go of faulty scripts we hold on to from childhood, we have to allow our significant others to be themselves, not what we want them to be to fulfill our script. So you're probably asking yourself, how do I rewrite my script? Well, this requires letting go of past habits, behaviors. It also requires self-awareness, commitment, and some risk-taking. So you can break the pattern in the cycle by following a few simple steps. And the first one is to teach yourself to stop, then choose, instead of choosing without thought. And by what I mean by this is stop before you react, you know, um, and ask yourself, is this healthy? If you can say no, then you are free to choose again. Um, two, determine what you want to create and set your intention. And this is, I want to create a happy, healthy life. You state this intention and you set about doing that um, because the mind's a powerful thing. Clarify your values and principles. Four, share your intention with somebody else. So that could be a loved one, a significant other, a family member, your therapist, or a life, or a life coach. Ask for assistance and ask, also ask for periodic feedback. <clears throat> Five, journal your experiences in choosing. And what I mean by this is um, you choose to do something and everything that we do is a choice. So you write down and journal your experiences in life and the choices that you've made. We're always free to choose another path and another direction because nothing is ever set in stone. And this can be helpful through, uh, for tracking your progress. And six, becoming accountable. So reclaim your power, re uh, use your wisdom, listen to your gut, and create different results. <clears throat> Nearly everything flows from a single principle. The way you feel emotionally arises from the way you think. Your feelings come from your beliefs, and changing your beliefs or your scripts 
will allow you to uh, help a healthy emotional growth and ultimately a happier, healthier you. So if you need help with this, please uh, contact me. My uh, email is Rinda Hall at you can at uh, hallrenda at gmail.com and my phone number is 256-497-4790. Again, this is Renda Hall with Family Tree Counseling Associates and thanks for watching.